What's going on, people? Jay Pylon back at it again with another TTM through the mail autograph. This is episode number five. Episode number five already. Um, so let's go ahead and check out and see what I got back in the mail. Oh, that's a beauty. A beauty in the screen right now. The Kmart 20th anniversary Brooks Robinson. Love it. Um, I got the mail right here. Let's see, lots of mail today. Actually, this is from yesterday because this is Sunday. But I'm a little bit late to it, so I'm going to start opening these up and um, showcasing ball cards that I got back in the mail. And sometimes I'm going to have to sleeve them up. Sleeves. Card sleeves. Penny savers. Oh, goodness. It's Jim. Jim Lomborg. 1969 Tops. Beautiful signature on there. Jim Lomborg was featured on the show cheers in the background uh picture hanging over sam's mantle sam was playing the part of um a, a baseball player in that show cheers and uh, the pictures that they used of sam uh was this guy jim lomborg 1969 tops is a nice set i like it i like it a lot let's see what else i got Got this game back. All discombobulated. There we go. Let's see if we can get him in the picture. It's Mike Smithson. He's got a good signature. Look at that signature. I like the signature that Mike Smithson has. He also had a little note in here. It said, my favorite player is Kirby Puckett. Oh, he played with Kirby Puckett when he was on the Twins. Pretty interesting. Move that over a little bit so you can see. Yeah, nice signature. Well, I got several from him. Several nice Mike Smithson cards autographed. He's got a good signature. Okay, these two I gotta sleeve up. That's a nice card of Dick Groat. That's a back card. It says American Pie back card. And there he is on the screen, too. Dick Groat just um, appeared. Speak him into existence, and there he comes. Dick Groat. Dick Groat should be a Hall of Famer. He did. He was the he was the top player in 1959 and 1960. There he was when he played for the Cardinals with Tim McCarver. This is a custom ball card I made. This uh, sent all this out back in December, and I'm just now getting it back. Thank you very much, Mr. Groat. This was a long, um, a long time of not having his card back. There's the back of it that shows the highlights. I'm gonna read some of those highlights. Eight-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, MVP of 1960. Yeah, between 59 and 60, the man was Dick Groat. I think he's in the College Basketball Hall of Fame as well. A tremendous player you know if you think about it Jim Cott got into the Hall of Fame Gil Hodges was a fan favorite he's in the Hall of Fame I just wish they would have uh, taken a look at some of these forgotten guys from the other eras like you know like the uh, the 40s 50s and 60s but that's really becoming um, coming obscure at this point right now we're gonna be looking at the guys that were forgotten during the era of the 70s 80s and even the 90s Oh, here's a nice one I got back. Check it out. I might have to lift this up a little bit so you can see the goodness of this 1962 Hot Corner Guardians previously signed by Cletus Boyer the ba of the Baseball Boyer family. It was like six brothers in the uh, MLB, I believe. Signed by, in blue Sharpie, by Billy Gardner. He's accepting donations at this point. I didn't. I don't think that I had a, that big of a donation in here. I think I had um, just five dollars in there for him. 
but he did a great signature and this took a long time to get back all right next up a hollywood legend you know this guy from star trek reading rainbow lavar burton signed it in blue ink Hollywood cards, non-sport Hollywood cards. Pretty neat. I'm gonna have to sleeve that one up. A 1960s, is this 64? Is that what this is? Jim Perry. Thank you, Mr. Perry, for your autograph on this. I think that's a 64, right? Two cards back from Mr. Ron Hansen. Two-time All-Star. This is another custom card that I made. Made this in the uh, style of the 1960 card. Look what it is. <laughs> oh, the back of that. I just put the, uh, here's a 61 back of it. Sometimes I get confused when I see my cards that I forget whether they're the real deal or if the, they're just a... Uh, custom that I made but this is a 61 custom I made of course with the Ron Hansen all-star rookie Mr. Han Ron Hansen rookie of the year all right Dave Kingman Mr. 16 is it 16 times Grand Slams I think that that's right up there with uh You'll have to look up the stats, I guess, but it would be uh, Babe Ruth. Is it Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, and Dave Kingman were the only the people that had the most Grand Slams of all time? This is a 72. Is that his rookie year or is his rookie year before that? Does he have a 71 rookie or is that his rookie card in 72? I'm not really sure. Next up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Ron Say. Thank you, Mr. Say. He had a great career. This is a, eight, was this an 85 or 86? Oh, um, on the Cubs. Got some commissioners coming up here. Commissioner card. Bud Selig. Did this look, I made this little custom card. He was, uh, a part of that inaugural Brewers, home of the Brewers. Alan Huber, Bud Selig. Another custom I did. He signed all three that I sent out in blue Sharpie. There he is surrounded by on a bat chair, like a Game of Thrones chair, but with baseball bats. Looks like he's in a suit and tie getting ready to throw out a pitch. Mr. Bud Selig baseball commissioner and I got back another commissioner which I like getting these back I like getting the Adam Silvers back I don't want to bump everything over there we go in a skybox looking custom that I made for Adam Silver signed in silver Then I made like a, uh, kind of like a flare 1960 style uh, Adam Silver commissioner car. And he signed that in a black Sharpie. Thank you very much to Mr. Silver. Appreciate it. Now here's a new one. Here's a new one for my TTMs. This is a golfer, Mr. Kurt Strange. Actually, this is a card that's a little on the small side, too. I like those cool art cards. They remind me of those Dick Perez cards. Beautiful card. All right. Next up. I get, oh, shoot. He's got one more. I thought it was just two that came out, but it was actually three. Here we go. Bill Stoneman. 
here's 70, here's 72, and he slide it in ballpoint pen, and here's 68. Talk about that. Nice cards. I'm gonna have to get. A, I'm gonna have to make some customs for him. To sign next time. And we've got. Uh, looks like two more letters to go. Here's another letter. Oh, I like to get these back. This is Mr. Claude Osteen. This is his 71 tops, Claude Osteen. I love the 71 set and then he was a part of the Dodgers so that famous Dodgers team at that time had uh did they have Dusty Baker on it did it have uh Steve Garvey um I think it was Manny Mota Steve Garvey Dusty Baker Charlie Huff Claude Osteen some of the notable names on there I think maybe John Bocabella may have been on the team at the time uh Billy Billy G because it's Billy Grabikowitz so he put Billy G, hard to pronounce that uh, name. This is a custom that I made of an art car that they had going, Claude Osteen and Billy G. So Billy, I had Billy G sign this first, and I sent it off to Mr. Osteen, and he signed it as well. So thank you so much, Claude Osteen. Beautiful cards. I'm going to get all oh, sleeved up. I just don't have enough time to keep on sleeving everything before I showcase it off. And here is my last, I think, double check. Okay, last, last group of cards, and it's a pretty good group of my guy TTM all the time the guy that is in my PC you know him you love him it's Mr. Ron Gant here's a custom card I made rated rookie in the 88 style for Mr. Ron Gant here's a flare is this a flare EX a Bowman refractor I think it's an atomic refractor a crash the game gold crash the game card see through and a uh, refractor Ron Gant from the Topps Chrome series 2002 all right that'll do it for episode number five I hope you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave me a comment a thumbs up a like subscribe if you're brand new welcome to the channel See you next time, guys. Thank you for coming in.